Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I'm getting asked a lot, what are the new consumer trends in this COVID era? Well, besides the obvious extra demand for hand sanitizing products, hand wash, and then hand care treatments to combat the drying from all this washing and sanitizing, there's a lot of other trends developing in the personal care industry. First of all, women aren't wearing bright, flashy makeup anymore because we're not going out. There's also a much decreased demand for radical styling products, again, because people simply aren't going out and socializing or even going to work as much as they used to. Instead, women are looking for more natural cosmetic looks, or if they're wearing masks a lot, they are opting for increased eye makeup products eyeliner, mascara, and day-to-day -day wear eyeshadows. Again, we're not talking about big nighttime looks here, but everyday use to emphasize the eyes, especially if the rest of their face is covered with a mask. Conversely, when they're at home, people are staying in touch a lot more using screens. So women are also increasing their demand for soft focus finish makeup. So this is makeup that they apply and it gives a soft focus effect when they're talking to friends or family via a screen. While we're also talking about masks, there is now a concept of maskne, which is an acne that forms from wearing masks constantly. And this happens because there is a lot of extra humidity under the mask. There's also rubbing of the mask where it is on the face, and this can lead to clogged pores and irritation over time. So we're seeing an increased trend towards sensitive skincare products to help cleanse these areas and soothe these areas. It's also a great idea when you can to remove that mask to let your skin breathe. We're seeing a big increase in demand for at-home care. This can range from your everyday personal hygiene for the skin and the hair, right through to at-home salon experiences for both the face and the hair in particular. So it's a great idea if your company can come out with some at-home salon experiences, or if you're in a more budget range, some more premium feeling budget everyday care products. We're also seeing that women who would normally attend clinics for injectable products aren't able to attend these clinics anymore for various reasons. So we're seeing an increased trend for women who would normally use injectable products to using cosmeceutical or topically applied injectable-like products. So instead of attending for their Botox or collagen injections, they're now looking for topical collagen or Botox-like alternatives. So if your range doesn't have one of these products, it would be a good time to introduce one to your range now. When formulating any new products, avoid common polymers like your carbamers, your C1030 alcohol acrylates, and other polymers that are in high demand for sanitizing hand gels. There is such a global shortage of these materials. Try and avoid them in your personal care developments. Try and use gums or polymer alternatives instead that are in more ready supply because they're not needed in sanitizing hand gel products. So just think carefully about the polymers you're using so that you don't have supply and demand issues later when you get to the manufacturing step. People are at home a lot more on the internet. And while there's a lot more misinformation circulating on the internet, it's also a great way to introduce new products with a seven, 10 or 12 day challenge. Just make sure you're developing products that will give them really good results that they can see in as little as seven, 10 or 12 days. And you've got a great marketing campaign to spread across the social medias about trying your product to see the results in this very short time frame. People are looking for enhanced care products so they can give themselves some of these little luxuries and treatments at home, but they want to see some fast results. And of course you can market them effectively using social media with these seven, 10 or 12 day challenge concepts. It's also great if you're able to develop some sort of artificial intelligence or app 
so that consumers can try before they buy artificially. As in-store tests has become a thing of the past and online shopping demand increases dramatically. If you can develop some sort of AI app so that a consumer can see what the products like to use before they actually purchase it, it's a great way to reduce barriers to purchase. You could also consider coming out with sachet or small sample size offerings at very much reduced cost for consumers to try before they need to purchase a full size product. Well, these are just some of the innovations and trends we're seeing in this new COVID era. It seems like we're going to be shopping and producing products to fulfill different needs instigated by this COVID era for some time. Here's some innovations and ways to appeal to your consumer market in this changing time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.